everybody, so welcome back to our third installment of our 60 second tip. One of the things that gets brought up to me in class all the time is how do I deal with behaviors like jumping, biting, nipping, uh, barking at me. When your dog is committing these behaviors, it's important for you to understand the reason why. They're doing it because A, these behaviors work for them. Right from puppies, if you view a group of puppies all together, they're jumping on each other, they're nipping at each other, they're barking at each other, and they do it to encourage the play. When our puppies come home with us, we sit down on the floor with them, they run over, they jump in our lap, they bite at us, they nip at us, and it is fun. Who doesn't want this ball of fluff in, the, in your lap licking at you? It's not our dog's faults, however, when they hit a year, year and a half old, all of a sudden, it's not welcome. Our puppies have learned right from young age, this works, so they're going to continue to do it. We try to punish our dogs out of it, holding them on, saying no in a firm voice, any of these uh, punishment behaviors that owners engage in to try to discourage the problem. It's not our puppy's fault, it's not our dog's fault that ultimately, by engaging in these, these uh, interventions, you're actually reinforcing the behavior. And if you think you're not, let's think again. Your puppy's jumping out on you because you want attention. You tell them no. What are you doing? You're looking at them. You're talking to them. I.e., you're completely reinforcing the behavior. You're giving them the attention. So one of the interventions that you have to engage in, if you want to discourage this behavior, if you want to turn it around, is to use what's called differential reinforcement. Now, I wrote a blog on differential reinforcement on my website. Feel free to look it up. One of the tenets of differential reinforcement is you define the behavior, i.e. the jumping. You don't want it. So what you're going to do is you're going to completely ignore it. The behavior is no longer going to work for the dog. If the behavior no longer works for the dog, then what the dog is going to do is they're going to try something else, i.e. sitting, lying down, something to get your attention. If you start marking that new behavior, the old behavior, i.e. the jumping is going to disappear because the behavior no longer works, then you're marking the new behavior, i.e. the sitting and lying down, something that's counterproductive to the jumping. That behavior starts work, the dog starts engaging in that behavior. Again, this process is called differential reinforcement. It's a really valuable tool for any owner, any dog owner to have in their training toolbox. Look it up. Again, I wrote a blog on this on my website. Feel free to look it up, and if you've got any questions on it, drop me a line. Hope this helps you. Hope you're having a wonderful day on this fine and sunny day. Let me know in the comments below. You like this, you don't. Let me know what you, what you think. Have a great day, everybody.